teledentistry, in my mind, is a really, really important part of the future. So for me, I'm a pediatric dentist. Um, I got into to pediatric dentistry through public health. I didn't know I was going to be a pediatric dentist when I grew up, but I was doing a master's in public health and read about fluoride and how it is able to prevent disease in populations. And that that caught my attention is that we could make a big difference in a population through a little intervention. And so as I started looking into it and, and talked with some friends that were in dentistry, that really changed the trajectory of what I did and got me into dentistry. And then eventually in dental school, I realized that, that decay is a big issue in the population as a whole in our adult populations, our geriatric population. And I had too many patients come in their, in their 20s and their 30s and say, I, I don't like the dentist, the K is bad, teeth are bad, just get them out and let's, let's be done with them. And I thought, that's a, sad, that's a sad thing. Teeth are such an important part of life. So that's when I said, when can we really intervene to stop decay, to create positive experiences for people so that they don't grow up to be adults that don't like the dentist, that don't want their teeth, that don't, that don't value oral health. And, and that really honestly is the point in my life when I looked at and said pediatric dentistry is a place where we set up the future for each individual that we work with. And so I had been, I'd been at that for, for 20 plus years. And, and really my goal is to create positive preventive dental experiences for children and their families so that as they grow up, they can continue to have positive preventive dental experiences throughout life. So, so that's kind of my focus. What are some of the biggest challenges that you faced getting a mobile teledentistry, a mobile program up and going? I think more than anything, giving people vision, you know, I mean, people ask, there's, there's this component, you say, well, we're going to do teledentistry. And they're like, you're a dentist. How can you do that? I mean, they just kind of laugh and, you know, it's like, how does that work? You know, but I think having a vision of what teledentistry allows us to do, it doesn't allow me to put a drill remotely into someone's mouth, but it allows me as, as a dental team to extend ourselves into the community, like you say, to these vulnerable populations in a place where they're comfortable. I think many times people don't come to the dentist for whatever plethora of reasons, it may be fear, it may be finances, it may be just they don't have time. And through teledentistry, we can, we can reach out to them. And so one of the barriers to that is just helping people have the vision. And sometimes you just have to get out and do it and show them. But as you explain and as you see and they do that, those barriers come down. 